Hey everyone, my name is Katie, and I'm the owner of Katie's Corner Bake Shop. And today's video is about recreating iconic desserts from movies, TV shows, and books. This will be a multi-part series of different baked goods. Now it is time to choose an envelope. Today's envelope is The Lord of the Rings, Elven Bread, or better known as Lembus Bread. Ever since I was little, I've loved The Lord of the Rings. I read the, all the books growing up, and I have watched the movies many times throughout the years. So I'm so excited to be recreating this Lembus bread. So you may be wondering, what is Lembus bread? Well, this is how the books describe them. Eat little at a time and only at need, for these things are given to serve you when all else fails. The cakes will keep sweet for many, many days if they are unbroken and left in their leaf wrappings as we have brought them. One will keep a traveler on his feet for a day of long labor, even if he be one of the tall men of Minas Tirith. So let's get started and bake some Lemmus bread. The whole recipe and directions will be in the description below. What you're going to want to do is mix together one and a quarter cups of flour, half a tablespoon of baking powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Next, you're going to want to mix in a quarter cup of butter into the flour mixture. You can use a pastry blender or your hands. Then you're going to want to add two tablespoons of brown sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon to the flour and butter mixture. Next, you're going to want to mix together a third a cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then you're going to add this mixture to the other mixture you've created, and then you're going to mix it together until it forms a ball of dough. I mixed it for about one to two minutes. Next, you're going to want to sprinkle flour onto a surface and also flour on top of the dough because it gets a little sticky at first. Then you're going to want to roll it out and form a circle. Then you're going to want to use a knife to cut out the squares. So I did one long rectangle and then cut it into two parts just so they were even and the same size. Next, you're going to want to cut an X through the middle of the dough, but make sure to not cut all the way through because you just want to add a little bit of texture to the top of the dough. Now it goes in the oven at 425 for 10 minutes. This is what it looks like about half way through, and this is what it looks like when they're done. This lembas tasted so delicious. I'm so glad I tried out this recipe, and I had so much fun making it, and I will definitely make this recipe again. Next time I make it, I'll make sure to get some of the leaves that they placed the lembas in, but this is a little unpackaging video that I created. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!